Well, we're here with the Honorable Jimena Bronfman, Vice Minister of Energy for Chile. Welcome to the States. Welcome to you, and Th thank you. Thank you. Well, thanks so much for giving us some of your time. You guys are here because you're receiving an award from the Alliance to Save Energy, the EE Visionary Award. Could you tell us a little bit about how and why you received it? Well, there are several reasons that we're very proud of. Uh, we're the first country in uh, Latin America to have established uh, thermal insulation standards uh, for housing. Um, we also carried out a labeling program for refrigerators and bulbs. Uh, we are creating, in the, in the short term, uh, the National Energy Efficiency Agency, which will be uh, a permanent entity to deal with energy efficiency. And also, we are preparing our uh, plan for energy efficiency from 2010 to 2020. Uh, this plan will be announced publicly in, in the short term, and the idea is to discuss this plan and to have input from all the sectors involved so we can uh, prepare a final plan uh, for that purpose. If you can give us a little inside scoop on what types of initiatives a national energy efficiency plan would include, um, I think it'd be cool to, to learn a little bit about that. Okay, We're, uh, we want to, to um, establish minimum standards for cars, which is a, a very new program. We also will continue with the, the labeling program for the other appliances, including houses. and. Um, the uh, National uh, Energy Efficiency Program, which is now inside the ministry, is the one that will become the Chilean agency. Wow, and so are there certain types of numbers that you're trying to achieve, like a lower lessening energy consumption by a certain percentage, or is it by kilowatt hours? How do you figure out what success really means? We are aiming, uh, our plan is uh, what we call 2020 which is to have, by 2020, 20% uh, of our uh, energy matrix uh, formed by uh, renewables. Wow. So, and what types of renewables would, are you guys looking into? We're looking into geothermal, uh, solar energy, uh, wind energy, um, basically, and hydroelectric energy, which we have a lot. Uh, our country has... Uh, possibilities, huge possibilities to develop all of these projects. So what types of things are you doing to educate the folks that live in Chile about the importance of being energy efficient and ultimately environmentally responsible? We're, uh, we have launched several campaigns that uh, aim uh, to uh, instruct the people or have them know that uh, energy efficiency will not change their uh, way of life. It's not uh, a problem a way of going without energy but using it in a more friendly way, in a more efficient way. Um, and uh, we're trying for all the population to uh, uh, have this idea incorporated. And are these campaigns, campaigns you see on television or are you providing tax incentives or rebates for specific technologies? All of the above. Okay. <laughs> and what, and what, what's working the best? Um, we are uh, just uh, we just uh, uh, issued a new regulation uh, on tax benefits for solar energy. Um, we're also uh, having uh, we have a program, a very important program, uh, in which we provide uh, energy audits to uh, little and, and uh, little enterprises which have uh, also uh, financing aid, financing support from the government to evaluate uh, their energy use and uh, to uh, make them aware of what their cost would be, the lower cost of production if they include efficient energy in their process. So final question, now that you have a, a standardized energy assessment, program, how do you implement that into the marketplace to make sure that it's actually being used? Um, we, are, uh, we, we are going to um, build 
pilot projects in all of Chile, depending on the resource we have, because you know we're a very long, narrow land with desert uh, in the north and uh, lots of water in the south. So we uh, expect to have the, the pilot programs be successful so investors can uh, be interested in investing.